We will be talking about Turkish State Railways, also known as TCDD. TCDD was established in 1856 and it was nationalized in 1924. It is currently a state economic enterprise that has monopoly power over freight and passenger transportation within Turkey. The goal that TCDD has set for themselves for 2020 is to one, uh, be one of the strongest economies in the world, improve on their high-speed system and electrify their lines. So they're currently sixth in Europe and eighth in the world. Also by 2030, they would like to have 10,000 kilometers of high-speed tracks. More than half of TCDD's fleet is over 25 years old with some locomotives greater than 30 years. Through the electrification of TCDD, we hope that they'll be able to save a tremendous amount of money with their energy consumption and rolling stock. 25 million tons of freight is transported, um, is expected to be transported in 2012. Rail accounts for 5.3% of the total freight transportation, and the average age of the track is 19 years. This is a graph of the items that TCDD transports on freight. Mainly their two biggest commodities are machines and ores and metal scraps. TCDD plans to invest $23 billion by 2023 and then an additional $22 billion by 2035 in efforts to modernize and expand their railway system. After the electrification, the sections are assumed to grow by 2 to 4% per year. They also have the potential to increase their speed, the average speed kilometer per hour. TCDD is undergoing already some line projects. They're expanding and they're electrifying some of their current tracks. This is an example of some of the improvements that are currently being constructed and their advantages. So travel time now from Ankara to Istanbul is seven hours. And after these upgrades and modernizations have come to fruition, it will be reduced to three hours. The freight generate a lot more revenue than the passenger does, and that will come into play during our policy recommendations as to what we would propose for them to do with their freight. As you can see down at where it says total subsidies, that's an equal price to what the freight and passenger actually generate together. So the total subsidies that TCDD is receiving from the government is equal to half of the total revenue that TCDD acquires. So you can see down here, it's a little under a billion dollars that they're not meeting, even with the 50% that they're receiving in subsidies. TCDD is not functioning properly in terms of its financial viability and just overall operationally it's bureaucratic, it doesn't generate enough income, it doesn't respond to the needs of its customers. In moving forward, in electrifying and expanding their lines, TCDD needs to consider its employees, the customers and what they demand and what they expect. TCDD needs to consider the EU standards for trains and environmental concerns are also supremely important. We want TCDD to keep the passenger and freight tariffs low. In terms of a method to reduce the amount of employees that TCDD has, because they've noted that it's too many, but in order to be socially fair and just, we came across this early retirement pension scheme that the World Bank noted that TCDD should do, and we also support would be to propose to employees who are near retirement to take an early retirement and give them a pension and as GDP increases, TCDD should consider the time and values that its customers have in order to both respond to the needs of the customers but also maintain a profit. Also, in terms of EU considerations, TCDD has initiated work with quote-unquote European professionals so that the safety is um, enhanced and aligns with EU standards. And by electrifying and expanding the lines of the, of the rail, both freight and passenger lines, as electrified, will improve the environment in terms of gas emissions will go down and also noise. So this is the proposed law. We originally thought that this is what TCDD should accept, which is a privatization of TCDD. It would basically mean that 
GCGD would open up to privatization and they would relinquish most of their responsibilities and only be responsible for infrastructure development, management, and maintenance of the lines. They wanted to cut a significant amount of their employees and they thought that by privatizing this would allow the railways to be competitive with the other transportation modes in Turkey. What TCDD can do in order to make itself profitable and respond to the needs of its customers, they should continue to expand and rehabilitate, modernize their railway, their lines, depots, stocks, and infrastructure. TCDD should also look when it's revamping its stock and its infrastructure to optimize the kind of train composition that they create in order to uh, maximize the number of passengers, the amount of freight it can carry at one time with electrified lines and new wagons. More can be carried at once at higher speeds and more passengers can be carried, so it all needs to be reconfigured. This is a chart of suggested niche markets from the manufacturers and forwarders. It's a little hard to read there, but they both suggest transporting of dangerous goods, automotives, and container transport. And if you remember from the, ch the chart that Cheryl presented, heavy metals and mechanics and automotives would be, are, the, are the major sectors that are profitable for TCDD, so we think that they should focus on those. So in terms of our policy reforms, like we said, TCDD is already doing a lot of the electrifying and expanding, so um, they're on the right track, but we think that they can remain a state-owned entity. They don't need to sell to private companies as proposed in the law. By leveraging existing assets, restructuring internally without layoffs, forming strategic partnerships that advances can be achieved without selling. And in order to achieve these goals, TCDD should institute effective oversight regulatory council on both freight and passenger systems. They should work with other state ministries and industries to optimize rail transportation and examine for price subsidies. We thought that TCDD could open up a little bit, not sell, but offer leasing out of trains and tracks to companies. That was another suggestion and sort of demand from customers on the freight side. We thought also that they should implement coordination bodies specifically between tourism and the environment ministries. So the tourism industry noted that they want to, in the future, utilize more of the railway tracks within their business and include a media campaign that would communicate to the people of Turkey and internationally the benefits of utilizing the railway. If nobody knows about it and they think the status quo is continuing, they will potentially continue to use the road and other means of transportation. Last but not least, they should conduct a research study in order to determine the needs and demands of the poor and slum areas to establish a reasonable system of services to meet social expectations. This aspect needs to be considered much more thoroughly moving forward.